Hey everybody, today we're going to do a quick introduction to correlation. We'll do this all in about three minutes. Let's go. So sometimes when we look at a scatter plot, we see a linear relationship. The data seem to have basically the same shape as a straight line. Um, and in a situation like that, we can talk about the correlation between the variables. We should resist the temptation to use the cor word correlation when variables have a relationship other than a linear one. Correlations can be weak or strong, positive or negative. Positive means as you read from left to right, the general shape of the graph goes up, and negative means as you read from left to right, the general shape of the graph goes down. Um, stronger correlations, the data is going to be more clustered around that, that line that we're imagining. Weaker correlations, they'll be, um, it'll be more cloudy, the data will be more spread out. We measure correlation. Um, using what we call the correlate coefficient of correlation. We give it a number between negative one and one. And um, the closer you get to zero, the more cloudy the data. So on the far right, we have correlations of 0.4 and negative 0.4 on the top and bottom, respectively. On the far left, we have 0.9 and negative 0.9. Values of r equals one and negative one give you perfect linear relationships. So that means all the data lies exactly on a line. Be careful you don't confuse r with the slope. The sine of r will tell you whether the slope is positive or negative, but r is not specifically telling you the slope. Rather, you should think about the coefficient of correlation r as saying something about how spread out the data is from that line that we're imagining going through the center of the data. If you have a linear relationship but no correlation, zero correlation, it looks like a random cloud. We say the variables are uncorrelated. If it's not a linear relationship, for example here, the coefficient of correlation doesn't really have meaning. For example here, the x and y variables have a clear association. There's this sort of parabolic shape. But if we were to actually compute correlation, we would get a value almost exactly zero. Okay, so what about actually computing correlation? Short answer, you don't want to do it by hand. So here's the formula. The um, observations in the data set are x i y i. x bar is the sample mean for the x's and y bar is the sample mean for the y's. So this is a pain in the butt to calculate. Fortunately, we don't really have to do that. Um, in R, for example, the command is cor and then you feed it the x value and the y value, the two variables you want to have correlated. So with this table, if we encode the first row as x and the second row as y, and then do COR parenthesis X comma Y, R will spit out the answer immediately. We get a correlation of 0.787, a moderate positive correlation. 